Okay, this is my first video tutorial, so please bear with me. Everything will be be done uh, as easy as is possible. Go ahead and open a new image. Make sure it's trans transparent, 600 by 600. And if you use the same mask I am. It's by Christy Mask 23. And since it looks like this, we need to invert it into an actual mask. So go to Image Adjustment, Invert. That will change this this portion here black. That's the selection that we need to make it a mask. Now if you go down here in your layers area, you'll see a channels tab. Click channels and then down here you'll see a circle that looks like dots. Click that and it'll make a selection. If it also selects the border, we need to go to control shift I so that it only selects the music portion and a few lines here. Now you need to go back to your layers tab if you have a lock on this you need to right click and duplicate and then go ahead and delete the original one with the lock on it once you do that you need to add a new layer which you can do down here and move this new layer underneath that the original background copy get your fill bucket tool make sure it's selected as black and that your new layer is highlighted and go ahead and click anywhere so that it, it'll fill your selection here. Go ahead and turn the eye off down here on your original and then you can see your new your new mask is filled here. Go ahead and go up here to layers or excuse me select and then go to deselect and now we need to move this onto our original canvas here. Position that where you like now click over here on your layers on the preview window, right click and click select pixels. Go ahead and fill this with your paper or whatever color you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and fill it with a gradient glow. Colors that I have chosen are from a, the Orcus tube that I told you about I was going to use earlier, which is a purple and a kind of a peachy color here. Go ahead and choose your colors, which you can do that by clicking here and clicking one of the presets and clicking here and here to change your color. So go ahead and choose your colors. You will see that you now have a plus sign. Go ahead and click and hold your mouse and drag your cursor down. If you want it to stay straight instead of moving back and forth, go ahead and hold down the shift key. And then once you get it to where you want, go ahead and let go and it'll go ahead and fill your mask for you. Now you can go to select, deselect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move my tube that I have chosen onto my canvas and go ahead and scale which is edit transform scale be sure that you click up here on this little chain thing to your proportion stay scale it to liking okay and go ahead and click your check mark and so it stays the size you want I'm going to be using a kit by Pint My Tag with Scraps called Abby Dawn. You must purchase this kit to be able to use it. So I'm going to go and go ahead and find this kit and add some elements from this kit. You may change anything you wish, add anything more than what I have here. Feel free to do what you like. And first off, I'm going to add a frame it looks similar to a ladder. Let's find it here, which is here. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and move that to our canvas. Move this underneath our tube. We're going to edit, transform, rotate. Rotate to your liking. Go to edit, transform once again and scale. Be sure to click your chain again. Scale to however big you want it. Position how you like. Go back up into your kit and we're going to choose a paper to insert into that frame. I'm going to use the star paper. Go ahead and move this to your canvas as well. Move it underneath the frame. Go ahead and transform scale. Click your chain. Resize so that it just fits over your frame here. That way you get enough detail in your paper. Use your magic wand tool. Click inside one of the excuse me. 
highlight your frame layer here and click inside one of your squares. Hold the shift key and click in the remaining squares. Now go to select, modify, expand. You want to expand it by four to six. Click OK. Now go to Control Shift I so it highlights everything else. Highlight your paper layer once again and go to Control X and it will erase everything except for what you wanted inside the squares. We don't want to select this square down here because it's an open square and it'll just insert everything on the outside and we don't want that. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and add some more elements and to go to our um, finished product here, I went and had it added the flower element. I did not resize. All I did was position it to where I wanted it to and erase everything that elapsed down here. I also added some stars. What I did was I scaled it to my liking, moved it over and erased anything that was covering or seeing through the mask. I made sure that layer was underneath my mask layer and I made sure this flower layer was underneath my frame layer. I also added this wire and made sure all of that was underneath those layers as well and erased anything that I could see through the mask over here. Now I added some tubes here which I decided to do that after I added the paper. You don't have to add the paper if you decide to do what I did here. I just wound up changing things as I went along. So go ahead and insert portions of the tube just as we did with the paper earlier. Okay, now what you want to do is go back to your original tube layer, which it looks like this. Now you want to duplicate that layer. Go up here to Filter. You want to go to Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set that at 2.0. I find that's the best. Now you want to go to your layer style here. Click on the drop down menu and go to soft light. This will make the tube a bit brighter and a bit softer. Now, you also want to, if you insert the two portions here as I did here, you also want to do that same effect on those tubes. Okay? Now, once you do all that and you add everything to your liking, go back and add drop shadow to your frame, to your tube. But on your tube layer, make sure that you only add the drop shadow to your original tube, not the one that you added the soft light to. That way it doesn't turn out all weird. Go ahead and add a drop shadow to your stars and, and your mask as well. Now you need to click on your text tool so that you can add your text here. I also added some gradient glow to that, but instead of doing the gradient glow like we did over here, with the gradient tool like we did on the mask. I did that through my layer style, which if you double click on your text layer, it'll come up with your layer style and you'll see gradient overlay. That is best because a lot of times other people are going to be wanting your tags or if you offer them, you can go ahead and easily go back in and change the name down here and it'll go with whatever gradient overlay you choose. If you do it the other way, you will have to change this layer style, or excuse me, this layer into a roster layer, and then you won't be able to go back and change the name unless you redo all of that again. Okay, and you also want to add your stroke to your text here. You want to change it to white and change your size to 2, and add your drop shadow as well. Finally, you want to go in and pick a simple text and you want to add your copyright and your license number. You must, you must have a license number in order to use Orcus Art from Pix for Design. It is very important that you add your copyright. And from there, you are completely finished. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I know it was quick, and hopefully it was easy for you to understand.